Good morning on this election day. We've got some decent weather in Fargo right now in our Skycam view. We've got some dry conditions, a little bit of murkiness out there with some overcast skies, but it is worse in the west in more parts of eastern North Dakota where we're dealing with dense fog. So we've got that yellow caution light for travel today for you uh, because of that fog and potential frost with the temperatures below freezing there. Uh, looking at otherwise, once this clears up, getting some decent weather for travel today, heading out to the polls, uh, looking pretty good keeping things on the dry side. It's this morning. We'll have to watch out. Give ourselves some extra time to get to where we need to be. Watch for frost on your windshields and perhaps on some bridge decks in some of these areas out to the west. You can see Langdon, Candu, Carrington all checking in with zero visibility. Meanwhile, out to the east, most of us are doing just fine. There's some lower visibility in north central parts of the valley, but not dense fog. Valley City and Jamestown going to be foggy driving through Barnes and Stutzman counties this morning as well. So here's a look at our latest radar and satellite map more clouds to the east, more clear skies to the west. That's letting those temperatures drop closer to that dew point. And then we end up with that fog here this morning with light wind. And look at these temperatures. We are in the 20s in those areas that have been clear. We're at 27 in Valley City. We were briefly down to 25 there. It's 27 in the Harvey and Rolla areas. And then along the Red River and east, we're into the mid 30s to even 40 degrees. Bedette checking in at 40. Fargo's at 37. It's 35 in Grand Forks. Our wind is out of the south are turning southerly, but it's very light, less than 10 miles per hour. Here's a look at our forecast for today. Again, depending on where you are, if you're in the east, you've got clouds higher up in the atmosphere. If you are in the west, you're more likely seeing those clouds or fog at the surface this morning. As we go through time, that will dissipate through the morning hours, and we'll see more of that break up and get more sunshine into eastern North Dakota this afternoon. This is the lunch hour, looking at temperatures 30s to around 40 at that point, so not bad for voting at lunchtime. If you're waiting for after work, uh, looking at temperatures in the low to mid 40s for highs. And then after that time frame, temperatures will start dropping around 7 p.m. We're looking at some 30s and we keep things cool overnight tonight. I'm watching that system to the west to bring us a chance for some spotty areas of mixed light precipitation, but still even a little coating could be a problem with temperatures near freezing tomorrow morning. So we'll be watching that as we head into the next 24 hours as well. We're also first alerting you to more chances for precipitation and your 11 day planner. More on that coming up. But first, your forecast is sponsored by Innovative Basement Authority. It just keeps getting worse. These are telltale signs that water is shifting your foundation. But it's okay. We got it. Oh, this is done growing in this house. Okay. Cracking drywall is just one sign your foundation is compromised, but you can. Put water back in its place with a free inspection from Innovative Basement Authority. For a limited time, get $500 off any repairs when you call or go online today. So here's a look at our seven day planner. We've got again that fog this morning affecting us, but otherwise election day is looking good. Tomorrow morning we're watching out west again for that just little bit of light mix that's possible. The rest of the day looking great and most of the valley will be dry. In fact, through the rest of the work week, staying on the dry side. Heading into the weekend though, we have chances for showers, especially on Saturday. Temperatures will be more into the 50s. And next week, that's the, the time frame we're watching for a larger system, bringing a chance for rain, maybe some snow mixed in there and some wind as well. So some changes ahead, but no big temperature drops. You can see Friday is going to be on the 15th, the 11th day of our 11 day planner, showing some hints at temperature change. Yeah. Whew, I don't